After a huge win Saturday at rival Purdue, Indiana followed it up with another victory here, dropping Illinois 84 to 71 was the final tally. Indiana's second straight win over Illinois right here in Bloomington. The other one last year, of course, the big one where Hoosier fans rushed the court. Coach Crean uh, went up to the stands and all. Indiana scored the first basket of the game, got off to a fast start. I think the momentum really follows in the footsteps of uh, Victor Oladipo. How does he play? And, and, Indiana team sort of matched his level of intensity and got off to a strong start against a very athletic and Illinois team. After losing four of five uh, throughout January, Indiana has really responded, winning three of the last four games, the one loss coming to a very good Michigan team on the road. And their next four games, well, they are very winnable games. Uh, they're games that Indiana should win, really. Uh, you got Northwestern at Iowa, home versus North Carolina Central, and then at Minnesota. Speaking of this game, again, inside it was Victor Oladipo, Christian Watford, Cody Zeller, all bringing that special intensity, getting after the rebounds, going, uh, not allowing Illinois to get uh, and play how they wanted. Cody Zeller and Miles Leonard was the big matchup uh, that we watched throughout the game. Leonard had 15 points in the first half, limited to 12 minutes and just two points in the second half, fouled out, something that really got the fans rowdy and going there in this second half. A lot of fouls called in this game. 30 on Illinois, just 16 on Indiana, but the Hoosiers attempted 42 free throws. They converted on 35 of them. The last two games, now 77 uh, combined free throws if you include that Purdue game. They're hustling, they're attacking the rim, they're playing uh, to how the officials are calling the game, and in doing so, they're getting to the free throw line and connecting on those shots. Um, you can't say enough about Zeller, he's just a freshman, but his maturity, how he plays within himself, he doesn't get flustered or anything. Going against Miles Leonard, who's a sophomore, a 7 1 guy, another test that Zeller is able to pass. It's just remarkable how this uh, freshman is playing, really, uh, and how much he makes Indiana better in all facets of the game. Another interesting statistic, Jordan Hall's seven assists to go along with 15 points. He only had two turnovers, a very effective night for IU's point guard out there. Four players in double figures uh, for IU, but a nice win at home. They've been one now three of four. They have a six or five days off before playing uh, Northwestern here at Assembly Hall next Wednesday. Maybe a needed break. Verdell Jones doesn't pl didn't play for a second straight game. Maybe he'll be active for the next one. It's a bruised shoulder. He's being looked at uh, by the doctors probably as we speak. Um, it'd be nice for the Hoosiers to get him back into the lineup. Nice to have that uh, senior leadership, senior mentality, all those intangibles back on the court. Again, Indiana beats Illinois 84-71. to here from Assembly Hall, nice to send Bruce Weber home a little upset. As uh, It's clear Indiana fans do not uh, like him by the way they were chanting throughout the game. I had a great time catching up with uh, IU alum Sage Steele, Joe Buck also in the audience. Hoosiers get the win. I'm Scott Agnes for VigilantSports.com.